Devanagari script Every language has two parts of it one is vocal which is spoken and heard and the other one is script which is written and read to understand the difference between a language and the script let's take an example the script that we normally use in texting on mobiles or chatting is english however what we write may be english or any other language like if i want to ask a friend kab aa raha hai i can write it in english script roman script as k a b space a a space r a h a space h a i kab aa raha hai so there is a difference between a language and a script here we are talking about script devanagari lipi or script is the writing medium of sanskrit hindi marathi and all other languages of the same roots there are many allied languages especially in southern bharat which have their basics in devanagari however their script is different in appearance devanagari is the most scientific script in the world as established by many language researchers and scientists we often get to hear or read that which uh, many people appreciate with pride many others accept without exactly knowing what it means and there are people who reject it assuming that it has nothing more than a claim by those who either love devanagari or dislike other languages my attempt is to elaborate to the best of my knowledge the scientific base of devanagari script in order to do that i'll be making comparison of the same with english language it is not my disrespect for english but only an honest attempt to explain what makes devanagari a better and scientific script devanagari is a script based on the science of phonetics that is the sounds that we make while speaking thus the two parts of the language spoken and written are perfectly in sync therefore unlike english dictionary phonetics are not required to explain the pronunciation of any word we will see how as an introduction let me speak the devanagari alphabetical series first vowels are a a e e u u a a o o ang a h and r consonants are k kh g gh n च छ ज झ न ट ठ ड ढ न त थ द ध न प फ ब भ म य र ल व श स ष ह क्ष त्र ग्य नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द फीचर्स वन बाय वन एब्सोल्युटली बेस्ड ऑन फोनेटिक्स देवनागरी स्क्रिप्ट इज डिजाइन्ड एंड स्ट्रक्चर्ड बेसिस फोनेटिक्स hence whatever we speak is defined and followed in one way only written and spoken are absolutely symmetric there are two segments with vowels and consonants like every other language but unlike english they do not mix up in sounds or usage no consonants have vowel sounds in those and vice versa like in english there are vowels which can alternatively be used as consonants and vice versa let's take an example of letter u u when we pronounce the letter alone u it is y plus u and when it is used it is used as u also it is used as a also it is used as u also in the spelling c u t cut it is a p u t put it is u and usage it is u so there is this variety which doesn't make it either a vowel or a consonant practically let's take another example of y when we say y it is v plus a plus e whereas popularly known y is y sound now it is mostly used as y sound when it comes in between or at starting of a word but it comes at the end of the word it is used as 
e so even being a consonant by definition it works as a vowel coming back to devanagari the varnamala or the alphabetical series is structured in different groups of sounds there are five groups groups of consonants in the bunch of five there are other sounds left out and vowels are anyway a different segment the five groups of consonants are also scientifically structured how they are different sounds made with the combination of our different mouth muscles including tongue lips palate throat and teeth as well let's say k kh g gh na k this k group is spoken with the tongue and the inner part of throat touching each other the second sound is g k kh kh is k plus h sound then make k heavier it becomes g then add h into it it becomes gh and then is the nasal sound na which will be the connector for k kh g gh anywhere we want so there are these bunches which are progressive sounds of a particular type using a particular set of muscles and there is a nasal sound defined which will be the connector for these letters which is for each bunch the k group ch group t group t group and p group for example if i have to say a word stambha so half s t half m which belongs to the p group and then bh which belongs to the p group if i have to say a word stambha a uh, kanth then it will be k n of the t group and th of the t group so the same group nasal sound has to be the connector there is no possible sound left out to be spelt which is evident with the bahra khadi number 1 is all the consonants which are pronounced with the combination of all different muscle combinations of the mouth plus barakhadi is defined as a combination of each vowel with all the each consonant with all the vowels so it becomes k ka ki ki ku ku ke ke ko kau kan kah kri there is no possible sound left out to be spelt no constant or vowel is pronounced in any different way as i said it is perfectly in sync with phonetics there is no sound or consonant or vowel which can be pronounced in a different way let's take an example of letter c in the english language c in different words is used for the sound of k for the sound of ch and for the sound of c also circumstances is the spelling where it is s cut is the spelling where it is k and cappuccino is a spelling where it is sounding ch also which is not at all there in devanagari script and sounds five groups of progressive sounds are ending with the nasal connector as we already discussed we often use the dot above the line as a nasal connector but we must understand that these five groups k ch t t p have their defined nasal alphabets this dot is only to be used for the other letters y r l v sh sh s h kshatragya only those should have the dot connector for nasal another special thing about devanagari is there are three defined sounds of s sh which has a not in the beginning is sh 
it is pronounced with the tongue and the uh, uh, front part of our palate then there is uh, sh which is tongue with your throat and there is s which is tongue and teeth this defined sounds of s you won't find anywhere else as discussed it uses all muscles of tongue lips palate and throat and hence this language doesn't or this script doesn't limit our ability to make sounds when we speak now to extend the discussion further on with how some english researchers have also identified the matrix of sound based phonetic based devanagari we can see that uh, they have also defined these uh, al- uh, alphabetical series of devanagari in particular ways where there are voiceless plosives voiced plosives and in those we have unaspirated aspirated sounds nasals are there there are velar there are palatal there are retroflex there are dentals there are labials and for these you will find respective hindi or sanskrit names also like uh, it is called uh, the uh, the palatals are called talu varn the dentals are called dant varn the labials are called uh, uh, osteo varn and so on so there are sonorants and uh, fricatives which are again palatal retroflex dental and labial so there are sonorants there are sibilants and there are other letters so the point is that devanagari is by far the most scientifically structured language which allows us all sounds without allowing any undefined and unstructured sounds to be made so uh, that is it from my side if you get to know more about this do uh, share with me if you have any questions do write back to me i would like to answer to the best of my knowledge and uh, we owe a lot to this language and we must appreciate and follow it as much as possible thank you